thanks for joining Just Smile to Row. How's everyone doing today? Uh-huh. Very nice. I want to do a reading for my loved ones, okay? Um, this is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, okay? Taurus, what's going on, my loves? Okay, what's going on? Y'all know I owe you a reading, okay? Um, I would like to do a moment of silence for the 9-11 victims. Um, the ones that were there, the heroes, every single one of them, I, I, excuse me, not victims, the heroes, the ones that were called home, okay, 20 years ago, all right, um, it was a very sad day for Americans, very sad day, it shook the hearts and the minds of, even if you didn't know anyone that had, a uh, passed and, uh, that, you know, had been called home to heaven, if you don't believe in heaven, that's fine. Wherever you would want to say that they went, that's where you would say. But um, I want to give a moment. Um, if anybody's here that lost loved ones, uncles, moms, fathers, grandparents, I send my heart out to you, okay? I'm sorry about the about, about what happened at that unfamiliar time, and I know that it's never going to get easier. But as the years go on, um, you just try to accept what happened. You try to... Uh, push forward and know that they're they're watching over you um there was so many people you guys i mean i just i still remember the images and i didn't know anybody inside of the what had happened but i do know that it it, it broke my heart it, it truly did and 20 years later i will never forget it never 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 um, if you hear background noise, I apologize for that. I do still am, uh, I still am a mom, okay? Um, and so, yes, um, so I'm going to light a candle. Those that have, for 9-11, for those that, you know, the heroes, that's what I see them as. I see them as the heroes. So many people were saving lives. So many, so many people were just that gotten the worst news of that day if you just can imagine just what it would feel like if you were in that position of many family i mean it's heartbreaking so many lives were lost and i just want to send a prayer out to those that are still the, the living of those that have passed okay um i just i, I pray and i want to take a 10 seconds of silence for those that uh for the 20 year anniversary of the uh, United States heartbreak. Okay, that's what I see it as. Okay, um, so yes. Okay, you all. Thank you so much. If you didn't fast forward and you sat there for that moment of prayer or silence, I really appreciate it. Biggest apologies. My fiance is in there with our baby girl and uh, <laughs> our next door neighbor was looking for his phone. He's only like 11 years old, you guys. And he asked uh, if we could like possibly <laughs> call it for him. So they're, they're doing all that in there. Okay. So again, I said you'll hear background noise. I do have a family. Okay. Um, I'm grateful for that. So Taurus, um, Feeling the energy that I'm feeling right now, I think that you're in a, in a really, really good place right now, okay, with self. I believe it was way better. It's way better than it was two weeks ago, one month ago, six weeks ago, six months ago. Every day as you wake up, okay, you get to feel alive a little more every day, a little more and more and more every day, okay? And I want to say, Taurus, that I'm really, really proud of you all. I feel that a lot of you, a lot of you, a lot of you, a lot of you um, have persevered from something so heartbreaking, so something, so something so unfamiliar, okay, in a way that there's no way to describe the, to describe the actual pain. There is no way to describe it. There is no, you can't describe it. There is none, nothing to describe it to. There's none to compare it to. I don't think that that kind of heartbreak um, that you, that had happened to you is something that you can just say, oh, you know, I'm great. I'm fine. No, you will miss individuals that have done you dirty. 
you will miss times that you've had with those individuals before you knew anything about the heartbreak or the betrayal. You will, but understand that those are just merely memories. You're not stuck there. You don't have to live there. You don't have to stay there. They're just memories. They're just in your memory cortex. That's what they call that. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but you know what I mean, Taurus. Okay? So don't feel bad. Keep living. Keep going. As far as the person that you were dealing with, they're not so doing well right now. Okay? I just feel like an energy of anxiousness and nausea. Okay? Um, some of you are in new relationships. Okay? Some of you have laid this to rest. Look at this. Some of you have blocked this person completely. You're blocking this person. And other people that dealt with this individual as well. And they're not happy about that. When I say they. Look at this. They're having bad karma right now. For the things that they put you through. That's why I said this heartbreak wasn't just something like. Oh yeah. It's just, you know. I'll, I'll be great in a week. No. It really took some time. You really had to dig. You really had to figure out. Am I who. You know. Am I am I good enough? And what, what did I do wrong? Like why was I shortened you know like what, what happened here you had a lot of questions Taurus but it's okay it's all good because now that this person's facing their <laughs> they're, they're facing a lot of karma they're needing to heal and that's what's funny is that this person did not see um they, they didn't start this this tower didn't start falling until recently Taurus you would think somebody that had treated you wrong um you know years ago would be will pretty much know already that you've removed your energy and they're just they're they're gone on with their lives no Taurus this person's not and I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon in fact I think some of you are really needing to do some cord cutting because this person is is they're they're facing they're not doing so well their money's not coming in somebody try to stop your money flow okay you planted seeds Okay, healthy seeds, Taurus, true, genuine seeds, loving, caring, nurturing, and someone just took advantage of that, and they were just like, you know, <laughs> now somebody wants to rush in, because they don't want this karma, you know, to happen, this bad karma, look, can you just imagine, here's the karma, oh, and it's bad, it's nothing good, this person didn't see this coming, this person thinks that you're probably the reason, it's your fault they're dealing with the bad karma, so here they want to come in and rush in with some truth, Taurus, which I highly believe that a lot of you are like, <laughs> what? Truth. You got to be kidding me. Some people, some of you were lied to for a very long time. Look at this. Look at this. Somebody's trying to want to come and rush and give you truth when the truth is right, right there. They're just passing it up. They're acting like it doesn't exist. Do you see this, Taurus? The Knight of Wands, I mean the Knight of Swords, okay, they want to rush in. The Ten of Swords is right there behind this person. They want to throw all this behind. They want to rush in with their truth and pretend this never happened. But Taurus, this is still very vivid for you, for many of you. Very vivid. And they're just acting like it didn't, you know, I, I need to rush in and tell my truth. It's going to be too late. Oh, what they don't know, Taurus, is that it is too late, okay? Their cup will not be accepted. And no matter how much they try... No matter how much they try to beat you and race you to a truth that just no longer, you're not going to accept this. They're putting, this person's a bit delusional because they're kind of putting it in the back of their head. I got a truth to tell. And, 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 and even though they don't want my cup, even though I know I did them wrong, I still think I have, I, I have another chance to try to prove myself. No, Taurus, I don't think so. I think somebody here needs a little reality check. Spirit, what do we have here for Taurus? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You could have Taurus in your chart. You don't have to. Cross washers are more than welcome to sit in, okay? All right. A Taurus could have done this to you. It doesn't have to be just Taurus dealing with this, but this is Taurus's reading, so I'm going to read it as such. The energy I feel. Spirit, please bring in the white light. Please bring in the most honest messages that are needed right now for dear Tauruses, okay? Thank you, Spirit, for blessing each and every one, Father, Holy Spirit, um, for everything that you've done, for all the blessings that you bestowed. And especially for the victims and the family members of the 9-11. I ask you, Spirit, to please be here with us. And please get out the most forwarded messages that are needed for my dear Taurians. You're letting go, Taurus. And I do mean permanently. This is going to be done. You're cutting this out. 
There is no more he said, she said. There is no more thinking or guessing it. You are putting up firm boundaries. And it's about, man, it's about time. It's about time, Taurus. You've been needing to do this for some time now, okay? And somebody is just dealing with the bad side of it. Now, normally I would say this is somebody that did you injustice, okay? And that's what that is too. But I'm actually seeing this, you know, as karma. Could be a Libra. You could have Libra heavy in your chart. Don't have to be. But let me tell you something. Somebody's dealing with some stuff. They feel like it is so unfair to them. This is what this person's feeling. This is going to be the heading of the reading, okay? This is going to be the heading of the reading, my loves, all right? Can you see that? I hope you can. If you can't, I'll do my best to bring it up some. Is that better? Yeah, it's a bit better. Um, This person's facing some shit. They're facing some shit, and you know, and I and I wish I could say, oh man, I feel so sorry, but you know what? Of course, I'm a very loving individual, believe it or not. Sorry, guys, I feel like I need to light another candle right here up underneath this. Um, Justice card. Will this one do? No, this one. <laughs> That's my favorite one, you guys. I just, um, but I don't. I don't feel sorry. I think that somebody here is just really still trying to figure out how to play tricks of the trade. How can I get my way with Taurus? How can I get what I want? Okay? Without having to really, really do any type of serious, um, ser you know, any serious, you know, apology. How do I get, how do I get out of this? That's what I feel here. And unfortunately, this person's not very aware or very smart enough to know that no matter what they do, there is no taking back what they have done. This person believes that there's still a chance Sorry, you all. Let me move this over here. It's going to light during the reading, but I don't want to make it mix in with the reading. You know, this is a special candle. Um, I'm probably going to light it until, have it lit on every video until it dies out. Until it, you know, no pun intended, but until, you know, you guys understand. Um, oops. Um, so, yeah, you're dealing with someone here that's just, that they're delusional. They see that you are doing better without them and they feel that this is not fair. This is not fair to me. This is not fair. This is happening to me. Why is this happening to me? What did I do? Oh, I just did something so simple, something so small. Why are they so bothered? Oh, that's not a big deal. I thought I was going to be able to come back in. Yeah, you got somebody that's just sitting here just full of shit. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to tell it like I see it. I'm going to tell it like I see it. This person has some things to say to you. Not some things. They've got a lot of things to say. All right, we're about to find out what that is, okay? Spirit, guides, please bring in the white light again for us, please, for my dear Torians. Hmm. My kids are outside having a shaving cream fight. They literally go into their houses, okay, and their parents hard-earned money for the shaving creams that the moms or the sisters are using in the house, and they go out and they spray it on each other. And then, I guess everyone's Crap out of luck if they want to decide to shave a leg or anything. <laughs> I don't know. It's beyond me. But they're having so much fun. I just love hearing their giggles and their laughs. I had to close my window for the reading. But hey. Anyway, let's see the spirit. What do you have here? What does this person need to say to my dear Tauruses? Well, damn. Okay. They've got a lot to say. Like I said, they got a lot to say. This person just does not know how to give up, Taurus. They just, they're holding on to something that's already gone. Okay? And they feel it's unjust. That you're doing better, that you're healing. Okay, okay. So, um, yeah, you're dealing with a, quite a big character here. I, I, I keep getting this in you guys' readings, but I've had to learn to accept that this person's just not out of your energy. All right, it doesn't matter if you you give. Oh, I've been done with it. Good for you. Really good for you. They're not done with you though. Hence why they're still here. Okay? Your new partner is so lucky to have you. I'm jealous. So somebody sees that you're doing something else, Taurus. So some of you, not all of you, some of you still single. Some of you going to be on my comments. I ain't getting them. Fingers, hand. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, y'all don't be offended, Taurus. Come on now. Y'all know me. And if you don't, now you do. Anyway, somebody sees you doing something different, Taurus. You're doing something different with your life. You're moving forward. You're doing some things. I love you and I don't want to. So somebody's still obsessing over you, Taurus, okay? What they call love is not what you call love. That's why I see this as not, um, I don't know how to say this without sounding like a rude person, 
but I'm just really honest and blunt. Thanks to my Leo son, my son, I'm a Leo. Um, eh, I just see jealousy and I see someone saying that's not fair that you get a happy, a happy life. A happy wife or a happy husband or a happy boyfriend, a happy girlfriend. And I'm over here shit out of luck because I cheated on you. I had third parties all throughout our relationship. I broke your heart and, well, unfortunately, you found out about one or two things that I did wrong. But not the whole list. <laughs> entitled. They feel entitled to everything you're doing, Taurus. Everything you're doing. Y'all's money is starting to look good. It's starting to look up for you, Taurus. Congratulations. Many of you gentlemen and ladies and gentlemen will be looking forward to a promotion pretty soon here, okay? Little do you know, okay? Everything's going to start turning out good in your favor. Those of you that are in connections, new connections, someone is watching your connection very close, Taurus. They're watching, they're spying, they want to know, they want to get in it, they want to know what you're doing. How are you doing this? How are you so faithful? How are you so loyal? No, they don't want to know how you are. They want to know why you are. Why are you so loyal to that person and not me? Even though I did screw you over, Taurus, why not me? Okay? Nobody can make me feel the way you make me feel. I miss you. I'm not happy here. So they're in a situation as well, Taurus. For some of you that are in a situation, you guys are both in situations. But I believe that yours is more genuine. Yours is more loving, kind. Someone has seen your actual words, my loves. Okay? And if not right this minute, they're about to see it. I'm talking about somebody that you're going to be in connection with. It could be a twin flame. Okay, it doesn't have to be. A lot of people throw that word around a lot. Not me. I don't really use it a lot. But um, somebody that is going to see your value. Somebody, there's going to be some pure loving coming in. And someone's going to feel like that's not fair. <laughs> I'm still not getting this energy. I love you and I don't want to. Where was the love at when you were doing what you were doing? That's my question. Crosswatcher, you want to answer that? Or you just want to thumbs down me? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> anyway, because I, I feel somebody, well, I feel some cross watchers here, Taurus, okay? You may not, but I do. Letting it go, releasing this baggage. Yeah, this is what it was, it was baggage. That's all you were carrying, Taurus, for a very long time. You're carrying around the baggage of somebody that didn't value you, somebody that didn't see your true worth, somebody that only wanted to be around you because they saw something benefiting for them. Then see how can I benefit and help Taurus like they're helping me? No. It's me, 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 I, 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 no one else, okay? Letting go of this baggage, stalker as fuck. Somebody's watching your page. Somebody's watching your social media. Somebody's watching your account. Someone's watching your family's accounts. And those that are in a new connections, they're watching the person you're connected with also. And they've got other people that are watching them for them too. So you might have some of them friend, mutual friends on, you know, a list or something that you block them on. They have other people sending screenshots and things just to let you know, Taurus. Some of them are checking hourly. Some are checking daily. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm going to get rid of this person that quick, that easy. I just said that at the beginning, didn't I? I think so. You have a lot of haters. They watch you. What did I just say? There's people watching you, okay? And these people are just miserable because they can't have what you have. And the thing is, is that Taurus, uh, many of you were chosen for this beautiful life that you have coming in for you. Many of you have been given the gift to be able to have a good relationship, an outstanding, beautiful, fruitful life because of a lot of things you dealt with. A lot of things you dealt with that nobody knew on the inner part of you that you were dealing with. No one would know it walking, walking past you. No one would know it talking with you. Uh-huh. Because you have discipline. And with that discipline, you have made yourself with some freedom. You've met yourself with freedom. Okay? Discipline, Taurus. Discipline. All right? You guys are very good at that. Discipline. Hardworking. Okay? You never give up on, an, on, a, on, on, an, on a project or something you're doing, Taurus, within the first two, two, three times. You really don't. Someone here is really just not happy, Taurus, with you moving forward. Yeah. They're in a relationship that sucks, okay? They don't even consider it a relationship. They consider it a situationship to make you jealous. It's supposed to make you come back. It's supposed to make you question if we, if you walking away was the right thing. Again, Taurus, that discipline. Someone really does not like that you have that discipline, my love. And oh, it's so unfair. It's unfair, Taurus. Yeah, now somebody's worried because they're in a relationship that they don't want to be in. See, that's where 
it gets you right when you where you live when you try to shove shit in people's faces and it's not genuine okay it gets you where you live you're not reacting to this person <laughs> I'm sorry, Taurus. This isn't funny, but they're really fucking worried. Like, I'm not even joking you. You surrendered. You've accepted things for what they are. And they're still not growing. They're still that same person. They're still the same person they were when you left. Their self-esteem is in the dumps. They don't know how they, they don't know how you've done this, Taurus. They don't know how you made it without them. Because they could have sworn, Taurus, they could have sworn you would be lonely for the rest of your life. And you're not, Taurus. You're not lonely without them. In fact, they're lonely and you're not. Okay? Their doubt is so strong right now. They have so much doubt in so many different areas of their life. Taurus is just not something about you. It's this individual with what's going on in their life. And they're looking back behind themselves. It's like, where's Taurus at? Taurus was, you know, Taurus, what, where are they at? You persevered, my love. Many of you have. Many of you are so blessed. You don't even know it, Taurus. You guys don't even know it. You're being called to do something so much bigger than someone that has a fucking ego and a chip on their shoulders. Okay? Someone that does not see freedom the way you see freedom. This person sees freedom as going out and having a couple drinks with the person that they're not committed to. And just going off and having a quick session. Having fun. Then they come back like nothing happened. You see freedom as a gift. You see it as a blessing. Because Taurus, you were trapped in your head for some time. And this person is just like, they're deeply in regret. They're deeply in regret. Yeah, you're manifesting, Taurus. You're manifesting so strongly. And might I say, you're doing a magnificent job at it. Keep going. Keep going. Do not stop for anyone. Anyone. Their plans are not your plans. Okay? You matter. Your manifestations matter. It's like you it's like you're like gold. You know? You sit there, you think it, and you get it. Look at the next card that came out. Abundance Taurus. What you got going on in your life right now is not doubt, worry, suffering, and all that and low self-esteem. No, baby, you winning. That's what they call this. Manifesting in abundance. You're winning. With a capital W. Well, yeah, fuck that, the capital W. Let's put two W's at the beginning. Win. Winning. Winning, winning, winning. Very beautiful. Absolutely beautiful energy. And they feel like it's unfair. They feel like it's unfair. And someone's denial, yeah, about an ending. They're, they're not looking at things for what they are. This card says, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with this lit inside of awareness. This person's not really awoken, aware. They're just now kind of starting to come to like, whoa, all this time or this time has passed. This amount of time could be different. Yeah, they're impatient. They're like, where the, where the hell are you, Taurus? You're supposed to come and save me from all I'm dealing with. This relationship or whatever I was going to try to throw at you, this attention and seeking that I've been trying to get from you, it's not budging. It's not budging. Some of you have some of them that are just like throwing around spells and things like that. And boy, do they have no clue what they're even fucking doing. You're moving forward from a nasty player. Someone that makes you feel less than. Someone that doesn't want you to move on forward. Someone that wants to mess with you and your family. They want you to be trapped in your mind. They want to cover up your intuition all because they're heartbroken because something didn't go their way. They want to take back everything that they've done, but they just want to keep you confused right now. And they want to sneak back into your life. They want to rush in and they just want to do whatever the hell they want. I think about what we have been like, what we would have been like now. This person does a lot of thinking about you, Taurus. I don't think you understand just how much thinking this person's been doing. It's kind of over the top. It's like, uh, you didn't know, like, this is, this is new for you. Like, well, where have you been? Cause I've been... I've been actually doing some work, healing, trying to get myself back on track. And no, Taurus, they have not been doing that. They've been doing something different. Sitting around waiting for you to come back. Look, first card to come out. Sorry, guys, my phone's about to die. <laughs> They've been waiting for you to come back. They've been waiting, but Taurus, you're moving forward. They want to move y'all, you both forward. You're moving forward, okay? And again, unfair. Your imagination, your, your manifesting and the abundance that you have, someone sees you moving forward happily, happily, and they don't like it. Could be dealing with the Aries. Could be dealing with the um, Cancer as well. 
Yeah, nine of swords in the reverse. This person's depressed, Taurus. Okay? They're not going to show it to you. They're not going to show it to their friends or family. But at night, this person does a lot of thinking. A lot of thinking. Okay? A lot of thinking. But you've come out of that, my friends. You've come out of this. Mm, okay. That's why I felt that. Some of you persevered through this. This was a heavy storm to weather. Why they were partying and having fun and doing all the talking and, and BS and I got this and all this and that. No, Taurus, you was focusing yourself onto the world. Where am I going to stand at? Because this whole place is mine. Where am I going to decide to stand and be firm? Because that's exactly what you're doing, Taurus. You're going in another direction. If you see the the uh, wand he's holding on to is more longer and taller than this one over here. No more short, no more short, no more short lived situations no more. I'm going for the good. Okay. I'm going for what I want. Okay. And I'm going to do it gracefully. I don't need to sit there and, and show it off in front of nobody or nothing like that. This person is waiting your message. Okay. You've got good things coming in for you, Taurus. And somebody's just like, uh uh. Taurus is not allowed, and they just don't even know. They're clueless, Taurus. You're dealing with someone that just thinks their shit doesn't stink. I think I've said that before in one of you guys' readings. This person's thick in your energy. They are. This person passed up an empress, a beautiful soul, for somebody that just don't give a shit about them. <laughs> they, just, they thought clout chasing and let me get the fame real quick was really worth it. Taurus, it wasn't worth not one lick. Not one lick of nothing. I don't give a dang if this person busts in you T-S's of sparkles. It wasn't worth it. They keep trying to find you, Taurus. They keep trying to look for your message, refreshing pages and making sure their, you know, their thing is not on. And, you know, so no one hears in case you do, you know, let me make sure my phone's on. Let me make this person in poverty, Taurus. They are. They are impulsive, reckless, okay, Knight of Swords in the reverse now, and the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. They're just in, they're, they're, they're in poverty, and it's not only money-wise, it's mentality. This is what they've, this is what they, they've sold in this. This is what they, this is what they, this is what they've done. <laughs> this is their doing. Yeah. And you moving forward is pissing an X off. There's an X here that is just envious and cutting and want to say some ugly things to you somebody wants to start a fight just to get your attention because they see nothing else is working okay taurus they see nothing else is working they don't want you to move forward that's not the plan uh -uh, you're supposed to come back and worship the ground they walk on but you like uh, i got my own ground to worship <laughs> Bitch, i love myself what about you didn't think so they need to do the same damn work. That was fun. Flip over. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. This person looks back at what they wish they would have had with you, Taurus. Now we've got the Queen of Swords in the upright. We just had that Queen, the King of Swords in the reverse a minute ago. Yeah, you and this you and this person were probably... Um, you probably saw this person as your other half. Yeah, they're stuck. Yeah, Seven of Swords. They're stuck on being sneaky. That's what the fuck they do. This person ain't changed, Taurus. They have not changed a damn thing. In fact... I'll be surprised if they change their bra, okay, or undies, whatever you want to say. But if you look here, Taurus, somebody here, okay, <clears throat> is not very happy for the new beginnings you got coming. The abundance, the uh, blessings you have coming, that's major blessings right here, Taurus. That's what that is. I see it. They don't want to see it. They're very upset because they're not here, okay? They lack. That's what, that's where... Well, I love you and I don't want to. And your new partner is so happy, so lucky to have you. I'm jealous. They're jealous because of what you provide, Taurus. But the person that you're about to connect with or that you're already connecting with knows your worth, knows your vibes, knows just how to care for you. They want to give you just as much as you're giving them. It's equal. It's not a sneaky thing. That's not what I'm feeling here, okay, with the new individual, okay? Queen of Swords in the upright. Yeah, you're cutting things off that are not serving now they're not helping you anymore you're cutting off that mental bull crap that constant thinking all that is not helping you taurus you're cutting it all out you're even cutting out what you once thought was your happiness what you once thought was your stability you're cutting it literally cutting it out of your life no more i have no room for you and they're stuck 
they don't know what to do this light that's on this person's head right here hanging from this tree is just now starting to flicker on it's like a flicker flicker flick like on off on off it's going on and off both of them both of them like you know just different ones okay and it's it's like a different light it's like a light show in their head it goes off and it comes on it comes off it comes on and they keep praying and hoping that they wake up to you they're not Taurus they're not they're not they're still trying to be sneaky. They still want to cause you anguish. They still want to cause you pain. And they still want to come in and do something that's just sly. It feels to me like a person that says my favorite color is red. And in the back of their head it's really blue or pink. And they just said red because they know you like red. That's They're just saying that. They're not really... They're not really on the same level as you. Nothing wrong with liking different colors. I'm not saying that. It's just that... You know, you're pretending like we're matching and we're going good with this, but really, you're not. You're being sneaky, okay? We got the lovers here. We got the sun here, too. Taurus, you're happily in love with something else after closing this out. You're doing something different, my loves. Remember, this is a very general reading, so this might be meaning different things for you. You might be happy in another relationship. You might be happy because you've done healed your childhood wounds or you, they've been illuminated to you. You've actually found a way to self-love. Okay, this doesn't have to necessarily be between two people. This could be self-love too. Hey, take it as it resonates. It could be done with a Leo or a Gemini, all right? It could be done with a Taurus as yourself, a Scorpio, an Aquarius, or a Leo. Yeah, you close something out here. Look at that, Taurus. Look at it. I just said you're doing, you're, you're being, you're happy, loving yourself. After closing something out, you've got stability. After you close the door for good, Taurus, and ending, and ending, no more going back to that old, you know, thought process of me being, yeah, and somebody's not happy, and somebody, we had that death in the reverse, you guys, throughout this deck, if you can remember, okay, right after, look, in the reverse, I can't make this shit up, somebody's not willing to make changes to have this with you, and they're not willing to, like, let this go, they're not, this is not over for them. Like I said, you might be done, Taurus, but they're not. Okay? Yeah. You're no longer fighting for this shit. You're like, uh, change or not. I'm not fighting for your change anymore. I can't do that. I can only change myself. If I want to see new results, I got to do something different. Because you are not on my list. You don't want to be on my page. You don't want to be old, but you be stalking my social media. Now, that page, you be on like a motherfucker. And this tower that's done came down, what I say earlier about the tower, I said that. I said, this tower that's coming down is just now coming down for this person. It's like, it's it's slowly like flickering. It's coming in. It is. Scorpionic energy. Okay. Scorpio heavy here. Heavy on the Scorpio. Y'all, some of you are dealing with the Scorpio. Some of you might have Scorpio placements or somebody that you were fighting for or fighting with that you're no longer doing this with is a Scorpio. Okay. Yeah. They're burdened as a mother effer because of their their ways how they made you wait look at this look at this guy right here waiting patiently while that person gives this someone else they're burdened okay and you were burdened at one point but Taurus you drop these burdens you're like screw that and now they're like oh can I come out of the cold please please can I come out of the cold my girls are very, very funny, you guys. Yeah, look at that. You weren't happy here, Taurus. You know, if you have to sacrifice your happiness and you got to constantly worry or have anxiety in a relationship, you're not in the right one. Fuck a twin flame. I don't give a fuck what you call it. I don't give a damn. I don't really I don't really think that shit's acceptable. A lot of people think that it's, it's, it's okay to be treated shitty because, oh, they're my twin. You know, we, of course we're going to take them back. They're my twin. What the fuck? So, okay, you have not completed the journey of loving yourself because you feel you don't deserve nothing more. You deserve less. Love yourself, okay? Love yourself. It doesn't matter what this other person is trying to do to you. If they're not on your vibration, they're not going to get to you. There's nothing they can do. They can sit there and scream at the rooftops. Taurus, you won't turn your head. Because when you were trying to do that with them, you were trying to show them the love in discreet manner. Now they need to pull out all the stops to try to get your attention. And you're like, uh, that's not my happiness. Uh, you know, I'm sorry for you being to feel left out. And I'm sorry that you want to come back into my life. But I know where this is going to go when I let you back in. It's not going to go where I want it to go. 
You want to offer your cup to every other person when I'm when I'm feeling this. Okay? When I'm feeling this. They like offering their cup. And then before you know it, you're in competition. Look at that. That cup marching right into competition. Taurus, here's my cup, love bug. Here, come get it, Taurus. Uh, this Scorpio or Pisces water sign is here for you. This Cancer. Here it is, Taurus. Oops, I forgot. I offered other people my cup. So you guys just deal with it while I go give the next person my cup. Do you see that? And they leave you there like that. Feeling inside with yourself. Conflict, worry. You know, what's going to happen? And here they come again. You're like, fuck that cup. Are you kidding me? I don't want swamp water. I refuse to put work into swamp water. I'm not going to get it clean. I can't throw chlorine into swamp water and it gets clean. No. Too much hard work. Too much hard work. So you sit over there, you know, and you do that little devilish shit you're doing. Trying to throw things onto my life. Trying to wish the, wish the worst for me. Trying to keep yourself bound to me. Okay? Try your best. Try whatever you got to do. I'm not investing. You're merely sitting there beefing with yourself. This person does, you guys, have some issues, man. Yeah, they just, they, they offer too much to too many people. I don't like, I mean, you know, I, I, it's not really up to me what I like, but I just don't think it's cute. It's, it's good energy. Not for my Taurus. No, 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 no. You guys deserve so much better. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to try to close this out soon, 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 okay? Spirit's telling me to pick out my uh, yin yang oracle, okay? And I'm going to do that. I'm going to pull out three of them. Okay, Spirit allows. All right, if that's what they want. Mm, okay. What do we have here for Taurus Spirit? Thank you. What do we have for Taurus Spirit? What do we have for Taurus Spirit? What is here for Taurus? Thank you. One more Spirit. Thank you. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, we got Transcendence, Unity. Taurus, you're coming in unity with yourself. It's about time, Taurus. It's time to get out of this, okay? This person's not getting out of it. They, they think there's nothing that's happening here. They think it's just a little boo-boo and it's going to get a, you know, it's a little scratch and then we're going to go on about our lives, okay? So let them keep being in that oblivion, okay? You continue to manifest, Taurus, okay? And move forward and accept your abundance, okay? Don't worry about what anybody else is doing, okay? Don't worry about what they have going on. That's not your business. It was your business when you were with them, but they weren't trying to do this with you, okay? They're trying to do it with you and other people, and they love seeing you fight or argue or feel inadequate. And other people feel like they've won you and they've lost you, or like you've lost them. And so, No, Taurus, my loves. First card that came out, family, home, commitment. You're getting that now, Taurus. Uh, that's why your new partner is so lucky to have you. I'm jealous. Okay, this goes right together. You're building what you've wanted. A family, a home, okay? Love, real love, genuine fucking love. I had to say the F word because that's how genuine it is. Fucking A, you know? Like <laughs> the real deal shit. And someone sees you're happy and stable, okay? Like I said, in love, okay? After you close something out with them, they don't like this. They're like, oh no. Now they feel stalking your page. They are obsessed, Taurus obsessed to the freaking max they can't take it they can't take it they're obsessed literally like stalking you're releasing and letting it go you're like what the fuck ever okay after the family come home and commitment this person still wants to put on a facade like they want the same thing like they believe in the same thing you believe in it's all fake it's all fake towards it's not you've seen it all before you've heard it all before you know it like the damn alphabet i know what you're about to say let's make it right once more Let's try again. You can finish their sentences towards and it ain't because y'all twin flame meant to be together soulmate forever love. No, uh-uh. It ain't Romeo and Juliet. The, Romeo and Juliet's not a good example because at the end they just, okay. Uh, <laughs> Spirit, take me back. Take me back. Okay. Um, Titanic. Okay. Okay. Let's just use that. Okay. This ain't Rose and Jack type of thing. No. This is more like of a, this is more like of a conniving person that wants to win that wants to put on this facade that will, they'll, they'll take off the mask when they get ready but it's really not gonna be taken off in front of you because they don't want to open up to you Taurus it's not they don't want to this is what you want and here they come behind oh your partner's so lucky I'm so jealous I want the same thing facade beliefs I believe I want that too I do no they don't Taurus no they don't that's this is where the seven of swords comes in okay look at this 
facade, sneaky lies, you know, just something to try to get something going, something to penetrate somebody's nerve. Oof. Then this card kind of came out in sideways, but somebody's really wanting to communicate with you, Taurus, while you're not wanting to communicate with them. So you both are not on the same page, okay? You both are not on the same page. They want to send you, uh, this is Mercury, okay? This is probably where you're working from. Your, um, whatever you have in your Mercury is probably helping you to not need to contact this person. You're focused. Moving forward, you're focused. Your imagination, your manifestations, your abundance is here, okay? And you're getting out of all this. You're getting out of drowning in that that thought process of, oh, are they going to message me? Oh, are they going to see that they broke my heart? Are they going to notice my worth? Are they going to see, 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 see? Taurus, you're like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to fly. And there you are, flying, flying, flying. Why their note and their messages and all that they want to fight for and come rush in with is it's just floating in the water. That's where you were, Taurus. You were floating, about to drown. They left you there. They left you for dead. Ah, let them wait. Let her let her wait. They'll be fine. Blah, blah, blah. No, I think the fuck not. No, I think the fuck not. No, I think the fuck not. You don't want to communicate with this person. With their fake ass facades and all that old bullshit. You don't want to deal with that. Spirit, what's at the top of the deck here, spirit? Yeah, avoidance, stalemate. This is what's been going on for a very long time, Taurus. This person's one that had to avoid, like I said. You you, you see this person again or you speak with this person again, they're not going to want to. I showed you when I broke the deck how somebody was looking at the Ten of Swords. They're wanting to face this way and, and give the truth. And then the Ten of Swords is right behind them. They want to act like it never happened. No fucking way. You're not going to do that shit and then act like it didn't happen. It could be a Leo's Aries Sag, okay, that's sexually attracted to you, all right? They want a fresh, new sexual passionate beginning they think about you sexually Taurus nightly nightly but the uh rejection the loss and the fragmented in the reverse yeah i just i think this is already done there is not something to sit here and be there is no rejection because it's not happening there's nothing here to reject you pretty much have already faced you you pretty much already know um where's that card at yeah, nobody can make me feel the way you make me feel. I miss you. You already know all the stuff they're about to say. You already know. Yeah, because when you were dealing with this person, this is all it caused you. Limitations and fears. They just wanted to put fear into your heart that you could never find anyone like them. They're the golden ticket. You know, like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and stuff. Yeah, that's my favorite one. I like the old one, guys, not the new one. Though I love Johnny Depp. Mwah. Much love, Johnny. Okay. <laughs> um. Look, this is this is what happened. This person wanted to reach out, wanted to reach to you where you're at and, and, and pull you in to their, to their limitations and fears because they're too afraid to walk out. They're too afraid to walk out there, okay, and see what's for them. Look at this woman hesitating. Like, should I go? Are they right? Are they, or, or what, what's going on here? Are they telling the truth? Is this what this really is? No, it's not. Back the fuck away. This person's dealing with fear and limitations in their heart and you're made of angel dust and they're made of coal. And they want to bring you right where they are. But guess what, Taurus? This is not your doing. You have nothing to do with this person being limiting and all that situation stuff. No. Them feeling that this is unjust and just unfair. Taurus, it was way unfair for you too for a very long time. But Spirit has came and gave you the correct justice. You get the good side of karma. They're getting not the so good kind. And they want to put that onto you. Oh, it's your fault. You know, some people make things easier when they can blame someone else. When in actuality, they need to blame themselves, but they don't want to take on that responsibility. So they blame others. It's you. It's you. And you're just like, wow. Okay. So Taurus, let's see what blessed card are we going to get, my loves. And then we're going to go close out this reading. I'm so, so sorry, Taurus. I've kept you for long than you wanted to be here. You push pause and you connected and, and, and continued the video when you got home from work and whatever. Taurus, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Taurus, for being here. I love you guys so dearly. I knew I owe you guys. I felt it in my tummy. I was like, you know what? I owe Taurus something. And I don't know what it is. That's what it is. A reading. I give it to them almost every three, that at least three days. No longer than four or five. Okay? I try not to go that far, that long. Because I don't know why I like getting you guys' this energy. And then my guy's a Taurus. Oh, my gosh. But none of the stuff that he be going. I mean, none of the stuff I read, it resonates with him. I even pull cards for him. And it's just like, why isn't none of my messages resonate? Why does it? He's like, well, not it. It remember it's a general reading. I'm like, this is not general. This, <laughs> this is a personal for you. Like, he'll let me pick out cards, and sometimes he'll do this, and then he'll pick out like one card out of the middle or something, and then he'll see. He'll be like, wow, a blessing on my home. I've always wanted to get a house. 
<laughs> he's just amazing oh my gosh i just don't know how people will hate on you taurus you guys are the bee's knees like man and that's my spirit okay and my god my heavens my angels my ancestors my grandmother in heaven thank you jesus i love her so much rest in peace grandma um bless me with another a baby taurus in this lifetime okay i got a capricorn i got an aquarius okay <laughs> I got a Gemini, okay, <laughs> and I'm a Leo, and so I was like, no, not only did I meet a Taurus, I had a baby Taurus, so I'm blessed. All right, so let's see, a blessing for support. You have support, Taurus, you do, whether you feel that you do or whether you feel you don't. You have many, many supporters around you, angels, spirit, guides, some of you. A mom or a dad that's recently passed away. Not that recent. Some of you, it's um, been some, about maybe five, five to six years. Okay, or under that. I'm sorry, you guys. I felt it. I want this. Um, I just feel like there's someone here watching over you. And you think you're alone and you're not. Something was just telling me like. Hmm. Somebody here, like, somebody's mom uh, or family member that has passed loves cats. And they communicate with you through, ch uh, with cats and horses, animals, actually. Animals, any kind of animal. You get a gentle, a gentle animal that's around you that keeps laying around you and stuff. There's a part of someone's spirit that's lingering within that animal just to get close to you, just for you to feel their presence and to be, to love on you, okay? So don't be so mean to the fur babies, okay? Or big fur babies, horses even, don't be mean, okay? Okay, the card at the bottom of the deck is a blessing for the right words, a blessing for the right words. A lot of you are in fear of having to reject this person when they come back. A lot of you are in fear right here of the unknown of how this person's gonna take it because you actually did care about this person, Taurus, you did. You put in everything you could, okay? But you're growing. Look at these flowers in her hair, okay? Look at that little bird right here. You're growing, okay? And no matter what anybody else is saying around you, this bird is trying to sit here and maybe trying to, you know, con conflict her into believing that what's going to happen is so something so terrible. You're being watched by the heavens. Let these birds keep chirping and talking. Let them do it, okay? Even though this moon is right here and you feel like you don't know what's going to happen, Taurus, Go within your heart and say what you mean and mean what you say. It's that simple, my loves. I promise there won't be no nuke bomb that goes off in your arm or your leg or a chip in your knee. You will be fine. You'll feel free. That freedom card we've been having out here. Okay? Thank you, spirit. Yes, blessings of the earth. And this is the one card. You guys might have been seeing 111. 1111 uh, a lot. Okay? I don't really feel that that's a twin flame thing here. I... With 1111, 11, I feel like that's more of your guys saying, look, we got you. You see repetitive numbers like 333, 555. Look those up and find out what they mean. They mean something for you. You have your angels connecting with you. Loved ones from the spirit realms, okay? Connecting with you. Earth, the earth. A lot of you need to put your feet on some bare sand. Feel the sand. You guys, it's about to get cold outside. Sit around and watch the leaves fall. The fall, the autumn. Autumn's here. It's coming. Watch the seasons change because Taurus, that's how you were changing. You once thought you were gonna stay in gloomy, cold rain, yucky, uh, freezing, frigid weather. Taurus, you're making it. You're making it into the sun, the light. So enjoy the weather changes. Enjoy the time changes. Enjoy it getting darker sooner. Enjoy, it. you've gone through seasons, Taurus, okay? And you've done and mastered it beautifully. Don't be so frightened about what the right words to say. There's a blessing on it. Okay, you have support. All right? You got support from me. I'm right here. Y'all Y'all know. Y'all know the real OG. Just smile to row, okay? Lauren, Lauren, Lauren. L-A-U-R-T-E-N. Lauren. All right, Taurus. So that's what I have for you, my loves. If we're going to depart here, you won't be. we won't be speaking until I do the next general reading. I want to say you guys be safe. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Don't doubt. Don't doubt. Don't doubt. They like it when you doubt yourself because then they get, to, they get to doubt along with you. Okay? And they'll be damned if they respect somebody that's doubting themselves when you're, when you're doubting your own self. Do you see what I mean? If you're doubting your own self, they're not going to add life to that. They're going to add more doubt. And then before you know it, you sink. 
And then you like, help. And they just like, what? Please, we're not helping you. If you don't respect yourself, why are we going to do it? Okay, anyways, who's rolling the blunt? You know, they, they're going to keep going on with their life. Taurus, stop, stop letting that happen. You're going towards something. A lot of you are going towards a strong commitment, a home, a loving home. Someone's going to try to come in and, and disturb that, okay? They want to bring a tower down that ain't meant to come down because theirs is down. Theirs is coming down on their own. You know, you're no longer fighting with this person. You're not going to argue with them or nothing. They're going to try to come at you with some bullshit. Oh, uh, well, um, you know, this happened to me. Okay, well, I'm very sorry for that. But, you know, I got a family, okay? A loving home, a loving family, a strong commitment. And I'm not willing to break that for you or any squirrel out there trying to get a nut. No, it's not going to happen. Okay, I don't pet skunks. Thank you. Hello and goodbye. I love you, Taurus, so very much. You know, I got my loves, okay? If there's anything you know, it's down in the description box. Thank you for all the donations. They are much appreciated. I'll tell you, you don't know what it does. You don't know what it does. It gives me the dance. Okay, Taurus, I love you guys so much, 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 much. All right, take good care of yourselves. And if we depart here, I will see you next time. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye, Taurus.